Spend your time analyzing the data. That's what an appraiser should be doing, not doing data entry. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds. It's the Appraiser Coach Podcast, helping appraisers increase their efficiency, quality, and make more money. Here's the guy who makes it his life's mission to create value for real estate appraisers nationwide. Your host and the Appraiser Coach, Dustin Harris. <laughs> Boy, some of you, if you, uh, if you hated me before, you're going to really hate me after this episode. <laughs> I want to pause here, remind you that we are a, uh, a sponsored. This episode is sponsored by three great companies. One of them being OREP Insurance. OREP is the insurance that I continue to use. Yes, even with the switch, even after the acquisition, folks, we kept with it with OREP. You know why? Because they're the best. OREP.org. That's O-R-E-P.org. A la mode again. With the switch, still sticking with the best. Alamode software, folks, you need to learn more if you're with any other company. Alamode.com or 800 Alamode. And uh, finally, we are sponsored, of course, by the great data master. When I say the great data master, we're talking about the company that is saving you time and saving you money. It's datamasterusa.com is where you can find out more. Datamasterusa.com. All right, folks, a little uh, springboard. I recently was on a forum, not going to tell you which one, but it was not mine, <laughs> uh, on the internets, if you will. A uh, little uh, appraisal forum where somebody jumped on. I'm going to paraphrase. I don't want to out this person. Uh, but uh, but I, I love these comments because they just help springboard some great episodes, right? And this individual got on there and basically said, listen, folks, I've been appraising for 25 years, and I just got my own home appraised, and I was appalled when the appraiser called and said that they uh, they need to come in a time window, you know, which was basically the afternoon. What are we, the cable company? I've never heard of this in all my 25 years of doing appraisals. Why wouldn't you just schedule a 2 o'clock appointment for 2 o'clock? All right. Great question, folks. And I can tell you I've been on both sides of the fence when it comes to scheduling, meaning there was a period of time, most of my appraisal time, uh, if you will, uh, of the 27 years that I've been doing appraisals, I think most of those I did a, an exact time, a specific time, a pinpointed time, right? I will be there at 9 o'clock a.m. How many of you, like me, have constantly run into some challenges with regard to Scheduling, meaning I'm going to be there at 9 o'clock, and for whatever reason, you either are there early or you are there late. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, Dustin, what's wrong with being there early? What's the, I'll tell you what's wrong. Folks, when you're doing multiple appraisal inspections during a day, folks, I'm not going to throw out the number because I've just i done it before, and, and Bill comes out of the works, right? But if you're doing, let's say, more than three or four appraisals in a day, more than three or four inspections in one day, you're going to run into some trouble you're going to run into some challenges, right? And if you're there early, that only puts you at a better place with regard to moving forward. But what happens a lot of times, if you're like me, is you are there late. And it's not on purpose. I'm actually very punctual. It's one of the things my wife and I struggle with, right? 25 plus years of doing uh, this marriage thing, and it's still a struggle because I am very much one that if you're not 10 minutes early, you're late. And she's very much, you know, let's be on time, <laughs> right? Which sometimes leads to, uh-oh, we hit a red light and we're late, right? Now, we've learned to be very patient with one another. There's a reason we've been married for 25 years. But nonetheless, right? Personalities are personalities. But the bottom line is, folks, when it comes to business, you say you're going to be there at 9 o'clock and you're there at 920. That is a problem. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, Dustin, just call ahead. Let them know. I get it, folks. But I want to share with you a trick, an idea, a procedure, a policy, whatever you want to call it, that we've been using for over a decade now that has served us well. And I can tell you that the same issues that I had or that, that, I, that I'm hearing online with this particular policy, I had myself as a business owner. But what if, what if, how are people, what, what are we, the cable? What? I had all those same concerns and all those same problems. But folks, I can tell you in the balance, in the balance, I've had far less problems after moving to this new scheduling technique than I ever had prior. And I'll share with you what that scheduling technique is after the break. First, I want to pause here and remind each and every one of you of OREP Insurance. Yes, I mentioned at the top of the program that after the acquisition, I was very happy that the company that acquired us was still using and, and continues to use OREP Insurance. Why? Folks, they're the best. Now, here's a big company. 
that is uh, getting a footprint across the United States, if you will, and they've looked at every opportunity out there. They've looked at everything that they can do with regard to E&O. You guarantee they've crossed their T's and dot their I's and they've done all their research. And guess what? They came back to OREP Insurance and there's a reason why. Folks, save the homework. Trust me, they're the best. OREP.org, that's O-R-E-P.org. Speaking of the best, a la mode. Again, our company continues to use the great a la mode. Why is it number one? Because of the great tools, the smart tools found within the program itself. It's technology at its best, folks. It's a la mode software, A-L-A-M-O-D-E.com. Or you can pick up the phone, of course, and call them. It's 800 a la mode, 800 A-L-A-M-O-D-E. All right, folks, uh, we're, of course, sponsored by, can't forget, Data Master. Data Master, of course, is saving appraisers time on every report. Why? Because, folks, I don't know if you, you, you understand this, right? I sometimes skip right over what is it that Data Master does. Well, they're called Data Master for a reason. Because they take your data and they master it by putting it in your form in the right places so that you can spend time analyzing that data, not data entry. Let me repeat that. Spend your time analyzing the data. That's what an appraiser should be doing, not doing data entry. Or even, let's be honest, paying someone else to do that data entry. Data Master can do it for you. Data Master can do it with quality and Data Master can do it economically. Check them out, go to datamasterusa.com or datamasterusa.com. All right, welcome back to the program, everybody. We're talking about scheduling. I know. Dustin, really? You're going to talk about scheduling? Folks, this is something that we are dealing with every single day if you are an active appraiser. And it's a struggle that appraisers have. How do you do this and do it properly so that it makes sense economically, right? We don't want to be twiddling our thumbs. We don't want to show up to an appointment 20 minutes early and have to twiddle our thumbs for 20 minutes and find stuff to do because we don't want to knock on the door early and surprise someone. We certainly don't want to be 20 minutes late to that appointment because, of course, that looks bad on us. That looks bad on our company. So years ago, folks, I, and by the way, I kicked and screamed going to this. It was a tug of war between myself and the office management. And uh, we finally decided to take a venture, tiptoe through the tulips, if you will, on an experience. An experiment is probably a better uh, term for it. It was an experience as well, but an experiment on what if we scheduled in Windows. What do I mean by Windows? Well, exactly what this individual on Facebook was complaining about. The fact that he or she, I'm not going to say which, was an appraiser for 25 plus years and had their own house appraised and the appraiser had the audacity to schedule the entire afternoon as a possibility stop by time. Now, let me be very clear, right? I think this appraiser has a point, right? I would never schedule the entire afternoon, but I've been known to schedule three hours now, our sweet spot is two, right? So, for example, let's just say hypothetically, we would never do six inspections in one day, of course. Bring on the hate mail. But let's just say hypothetically, you had six appraisals in one day, right? The principle is this, or the practice rather is this, that you're scheduling maybe the first one between 9 and 11 a.m. And then let's say it's a half hour from that one to the next one. So you might schedule the next one from 10 to 12 right? And then you might schedule the next one from 11 to 1, and the next one might be scheduled from 1 to... You get the point, right? In other words, you've got overlapping two-hour time periods that you're scheduling things. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, Dustin, don't you get kickback from the people? Wait a minute, I've got to wait around. What are you, the cable company? Uh, actually, we kind of joke about that and actually kind of put some at ease, right? Sometimes if we see that we get a little kickback from the other side of the, of the phone call, uh, my, my uh, uh, customer service reps are trained to say, you know, we don't want to sound like the cable company. <laughs> we know we're putting you out, but let me explain why it's important for us to schedule in Windows. And folks, I find that when you're honest with people, that they kind of understand and they get it, right? When you say to them, listen, if I gave you an exact time, I promise because our appraiser has multiple inspections and some appraisal inspections take 20 minutes and some take two hours and we don't always know how long it's gonna take, it's best for you and for us if we schedule in a window. Because if we schedule for 10 a.m., guaranteed that appraiser is either gonna be late or he's gonna be early and either way, you're not gonna be happy, right? If we put it that way and we do so with a wink, if you know what I mean, and a smile, it usually goes over quite well. And I know, I know, I was with you. Those of you who schedule exact times and you've done it for years, you cannot imagine, right, doing this. You can't imagine putting your clients out. But folks, I'm telling you, it actually helps. And if you explain this to them, right, that scheduling in a window is actually a benefit to you and to me, usually they're pretty understanding. Now, when they're not, let's go one step further. Every once in a while, we run into a little bit of a brick wall where we say, hey, uh, the appraiser will be out there between 11 and 1 on Thursday. Will that work for you? Well, what, two hours? By the way, very clear, you gotta be clear on this, right? Do not say that the appraiser will be there between 11 and one like I just did, okay? That's the wrong way to say it. 
say it this way, the appraiser will show up sometime between 11 and 1. You see the difference? When you say the appraiser will be there between 11 and 1, they think that they will be there at 11 o'clock and that they will leave at 1 o'clock. Right? I'm telling you, they do. That's what they hear. So we're very clear and precise in our language to say the appraiser will show up sometime between 11 and 1. And typically, this will take, depending on the size of your house, anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes. Right? Uh, and here's what you need to be prepared for, blah, blah, blah. If we get pushback and they say, oh, man, 11 and 1, I, I don't want to take off work and, and da, 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 da. We will offer solutions, right? Whenever someone has a problem, offer solutions. That's just customer service 101. And when we hear from the other end, oh, so any chance you can narrow that down a little bit? Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? The appraiser has multiple inspections that day. And uh, he doesn't always know how long they're each going to take and what traffic's going to be like and weather and you name it. Um, so it's really best if we set this as a window. However, I can do you a favor. So you're not waiting around for the appraiser. Can we text you about 20 minutes before the appraiser gets there? He'll still be there between 11 and 1, but we'll text you 20 minutes before he gets there and give you a heads up. I can't tell you how often that solves the problem. Boom. Done. Seriously. Just offering to text a few minutes before. And by the way, we put that on the schedule for the appraiser. So that when the appraiser is at the assignment before, the inspection before that one, they look down and they say, oh, I need to give everybody a heads up. And by the way, we are very big on, as you know, the law of delegation. So it's not the appraiser picking up the phone and texting the next appointment. He's simply sending a Slack message to the office saying, hey, I'm about 45 minutes out from that next appointment. And so the uh, office makes a note and about 15 minutes later, they're going to they're gonna jump on there and they're going to you know put a, a text in and say, hey, the appraiser is, uh, is, is on his way. He'll be there in about 30 minutes, give or take, right? That solves this problem of waiting around all afternoon, but the bigger problem of trying to be there in exact time, you got six appointments and literally you're going to be there at 9, 10, 11, 12, not 12.05 because that would be late, right? The problem is solved by this simple little scheduling trick. You're welcome. Folks, if you want to learn more about these types of things and the ideas that we use in our own business to be successful, join our all-star team, folks. It's 49 bucks a month. We meet every single month for a live in per well, okay, it's not in person. It's Zoom, okay? A live interactive meeting where we have an opportunity to get together and learn principles like this, like success, how to have it in your business. We would love to have you be a part of that group. Find us on the internet, theappraisercoach.com. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.